everyone. Would you get a love story? Sure. Right? Alright. I told the gown with the stroll through the woods for an afternoon. Personally, I neither enjoy strolling nor walking great distances. However, I was quite overjoyed at what I discovered on my latest journey through the woods. Before me, on my path stood a fine looking young gentleman. Dressed so fine and elegantly, I would find it quite hard for him to, be to believe him to be of even earthly descent. He stood my gaze as I stood his. Then, in only the time required to glance towards the sun's ever burning blaze and back again, he was gone, without even so much as a trace. Though, I do believe I could hear gentlemen, deep in the woods, call out to no one in particular, Love is never far! And with that, this, this mysterious man managed to catch both my attention and my heart by uttering only a few simple words in the distance. But from that point forward, I, Polly Smith, would vow to love no other. A few days later, I would discover the identity of this magnificent creature. His name was Samuel Donaldson, the favourite brother to Miss Rachel Donaldson Jackson, whom you may know to be the wife to General Andrew Jackson himself. Can't be much better than that now, ladies, can you? We were very much in love. Each afternoon after that, we would meet underneath the willow tree. Our willow tree. We shared such fond memories there. He'd even made mention of our getting married. Can you believe that? With my being a faithful wife of two full years now, the idea of marriage, it astounds me. But he had said our love knew no bounds. And he was quite right to some extent. The only problem our love would incur would be my father, Daniel Smith. Now, it wasn't that my father didn't approve of Sam, because I mean, a father in his right mind wouldn't. It was just that he didn't believe in my marrying at such a young age. He had plans of seeing me off to finishing school in Philadelphia, because that would be oh so delightful. My mother, Sarah, what a kindred spirit, pleaded with her husband, reminding him that she herself was only 15 when they themselves had married. Nothing could change father's mind. Now, General Jackson, being the kind of nobleman we all knew him to be, came to Rock Castle on horseback one evening with John Caffrey and Sam. He st they stole me away in the middle of the night. They ca I came down my bedroom window and down the ladder. It's nearly falling twice, can you believe it? I was so nervous as any bride would be so soon before her wedding. But once I had successfully descended that ladder, I was content. We then hopped on horseback and rode south towards the Cumberland after Hannah Stell to be married. That was truly the happiest evening of my entire life. However, I must warn you all, not every fairy tale has its completely satisfactory ending. A few hours later, as the sun rose over the frontier, I would lose something very dear to me. My father. My father, Daniel Smith, was a very kind man. And a few, uh, only a few hours later, um, as, it, as it began to grow, very bright in the light, we went off, um, I apologize, General Jackson went off to Rock Castle to explain to Father the circumstances of my absence. Now, he explained, he pleaded with Father not to be angry with any of us. However, he certainly was though. He went straight to the family Bible, my Father did, and you know what he did? He struck my name clear through it, saying, As of this day, I no longer have a daughter. Sharing the story with you all brings me great sorrow. My father will always be the man I love most in the world, though I do love Sam dearly. You, sometimes in life you lose the things that are very dear to you. I suppose I can only hope for the best in the coming days. Dear Father, please forgive me.